The first important step before starting is to make sure that the new parts are the same as the old ones and if they're different, avoid mixing them together. One difference that's not easy to notice is the height of the diaphragm pin, which can be measured with a digital caliper. The new pin that came with my rebuild kit is slightly longer than the old one, although that's okay in this case, because the angle of the new lever is also different, and it offsets the longer pin. This leads us to another difference that's not easy to spot, which is the angle of the lever. Here they are side by side, and here they are installed in the carburetor. The pin presses the lever when the diaphragm moves up and down, and the new lever sits slightly lower than the old one, so that compensates for the new longer pin. This means that the new pin must be used together with the new lever, and if the wrong pin and lever combination are used, then the trimmer could leak fuel when it's turned off and held horizontally, or it may have problems starting. The inlet needle should also be compared as well, and it's important to avoid reusing the old needle, because the rubber tip wears out in time, and even if it looks okay, it might not seal properly. One more thing to watch out for when comparing parts is gaskets that look very similar to the old ones, because the smallest difference can cause problems. This new gasket was included with a rebuild kit, although it's not made for this carburetor, and if it's installed by mistake, the trimmer will not start. All right, so once you're sure you've got the correct parts, the next important step is to clean the carburetor, which will get rid of deposits and ensure that fuel flows properly. The best way to clean it is by using an ultrasonic cleaner with a 50-50 pine salt to water solution. It will take about 10 minutes for all the deposits to be cleaned up, and for more details on how to do this, check out the video linked up in the cards. I will also place a link to a low-cost ultrasonic cleaner in the video description. The next important step is to reinstall the parts correctly and in the correct order. Also, make sure to give the lever a quick test once it's installed, to ensure that it moves up and down smoothly. The final step during assembly is tightening the screws, and if you have multiple screws, like we have on the diaphragm side, make sure to tighten them in an X pattern and in small increments. This will distribute pressure evenly across the gaskets, and it will help to prevent leaks. When reconnecting the carburetor, if the fuel lines are dried out, make sure to replace them, and make sure to install the throttle cable in the same hole as it was originally. And the final step is to start up the trimmer and adjust the high and low screws. If the trimmer doesn't start, the screws may need to be reset, and I'll show how to do the reset and adjustment in the next video, so make sure to check it out.